Oh, thank you, Dana. Okay. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. I am so honored to be here today to share my story with you and to let you know how instrumental Strive has been for me. I graduated from Strive in the year 2000. It was a turning point in my life. So many good things have happened since then. I was born in Peru. When I was 17, the terrorist group, The Shining Path, attacked my school and kid, killed several children, many of whom were my friends. I escaped harm only because I was out of school on that day. Soon after, my parents decided to leave Peru to take my sister and me to a safer place. We had an uncle in New York, so we embarked on a three-month journey to, the, to come to the United States. My father warned me that life in the U.S. would be hard since we didn't know the language or understand the culture. But he, say, he said that there will be an opportunity for us if we're willing to work hard. I believe that America is a country of opportunities. I dream that someday I will learn English <laughs> and get an American education. I dream that I will go to college and that if I work hard, I will get a good job working in an office. When we got to New York, we lived with our uncle in Queens. Since I didn't speak any English, the only job I could get Uh, was in a laminating factory. So I wanted to learn English, so I went to Columbia University, since I heard so many things about Columbia. <laughs> And of course, I quickly found out that it wasn't possible. College was so expensive, but I was determined. So I went to LaGuardia Community College to ask one of the professors to let me sit in the back of his class. And I worked during the days in the factory, and at night I went to school. I never miss a day of, of class or a school or work. I realized that I have to improve my financial condition in order to go to school. So I have to find a better job. Of course, I went to several interviews, but no one would hire me. I didn't understand how to interview, I didn't, I didn't present a resume, a cover letter. I just didn't know how to go about it. Despite these setbacks, I still believe America was a country of opportunities. <laughs> And I just felt that I need to work harder, maybe. So then I saw this ad in the paper that said Strive. I was working as a waitress at the time, and the ad said that Strive would help me get a job in an office. So I went, and it was not what I expected. The first day was very, very intense. I saw that most of the students were from difficult circumstances. The services that Strive was, was offering was very extensive. I couldn't believe they were for free. <laughs> Strive changed my life forever. It set me on my path of achieving my, my dreams, the dreams that I had when I left Peru. I learned so much as Strive. I learned how to be disciplined. I learned how to listen to others, how to deal with authority, how to be tactful. I learned how to act and dress professionally. <laughs> and I improved my skills. But most importantly, I learned the culture of work. It made such an impact on me that I still remember my training. And it was 14 years ago. Um, I follow everything they taught me. Uh, before I even completed the STRIPE program, I got three jobs just by practicing what they told me to do. Curiously, Jennifer, my instructor, 
convinced me to, to not to take any of the jobs because I needed to stay and participate in my Stripe graduation. I'm glad I did. I felt so proud on my graduation day. And guess what? Jennifer had an ulterior motive. <laughs> she actually offered me a job at Strive. <laughs> so I accepted because I wanted to help others in the same way I was helped. And the time I worked at Strive was so rewarding. I witnessed such positive transformations in the people that came through the pro to our program, and they changed their attitudes, they changed their skills, and they got jobs. That's what they came for. And a Strive deals with people on a very intensive uh, personal level. In addition to the skills training, they teach you responsibility, respect, and for many, a Strive is the first place where they felt like they have value. Um, I heard many participants say that their lives were, that all their lives they were told that um, they will never amount to anything. A strive helped them rediscover their value and gives them the skills and confidence that um, to find a job and a sense of worth. So I was so I was so glad to be a part of that. With my strive experience, training and support, I eventually left strive. For, uh, to work at the Center for Children and Family Center. And for the past 13 years, I have gone to develop my career as a community health worker um, and I specialize in chronic illness. And, um, and also I'm a community health worker trainer and I train people all over the US and in the Caribbean. And now, I am the assistant director for the Bronx Health Home at Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center. Where I am today would not be impossible without strife. Um, in 2010, I was able to fulfill another of my dreams, to own my own home. I bought a house for my parents, my sister, my nephew, and myself in Sunnyside, Queens. And I am very fortunate to have my mommy, mommy Luisa, that is here, mommy. Stop filming, mommy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Calmate. and um, who has supported me through this whole journey. And now I'm proud to, proud to say that I achieved my third dream, to get an an, an, a college education. Just yesterday, I graduated from the City University of New York with a bachelor's with a bachelor's degree in community health work, policy, and administration. And my, my original Strive trainer, Jennifer, she's here, Jennifer Sita. Sí. <laughs> she attended my graduation yesterday. I told you, a Strive staff really cares about the people that they serve, and they are there for you for life. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so I still live by the lessons I learned at Strive, and by sharing those lessons with my family, my friends, my clients, and um, so we can, so I can help them get jobs and and improve their lives. And um, I recently hired four graduates from Strive into our, into our patient navigation program at the hospital, and. And two of them are here, Ms. Melissa Ramos, Ian Marie. Hello. Hi. Anna Marie Kelly. 
so many of my dreams have come true and I owe it, I owe so much of it to Strive. The impact that a Strive makes in one person's life ripples out to so many others. Every person that graduates, like uh, you said it earlier, um, they, um, a Strive touches the lives of the people around them. We need to keep those ripples going. That's why support from people like you, it's so important. So you make it possible for people like me to go to Strive and fulfill the dreams that uh, now I have, you know, com comes with it. And um, I only have, oh, I only have one more dream, but I don't think Strive can help me with that because it's, I want to find a wonderful husband and start a family. <laughs>